We're working with Macola 10 today and we want to look at a workspace designed for WMS. Moving across the top we have many workspaces but we've created a workspace here for Wysis WMS. This is a launch pad where I can get to most of the things that I need to do during the day. Let's take a look at what's here. I've embedded a number of agility components within these menu choices. We looked at order status earlier, but I brought it over here to the Wysis workspace also. Here's Macola order entry. Go ahead and launch that. When I look at order entry, I'm going to be working with order 84 today. You'll notice that I have an order for some stems. These are items that are binned, and you'll notice that I have uh, items that are back ordered because I have don't I don't have any available today. So order 84 is what we're going to work on. But we have a problem. Looking at our dashboard here, I notice that I have a real shortage on stems. And I may need to take some action. If I go back to my item location view, I could filter on stem and see what's going on with the stems. I notice that I have some information here about the stem, maybe open purchase orders. I've got two purchase orders in the systems, quantity ordered, but these are completely received, so I've got a problem. I don't even have a purchase order available to work with. So coming down here, I can just click here and take a look at my reorder advice information and really see what I need to make a good decision to order product. Looking across the items that need some attention, you'll notice my stem is the third item on the grid, and it's recommending that I order 11,018. I'll go ahead and make that, round that up myself, and update the quantity to order right there. Based on this recommendation, I'm going to go ahead and create the purchase order, go ahead and print it. I've actually released it and printed it and now I can email it or print it off and send it to my vendor whatever I need to do for purchase order 64. So I've got a product on order and I'm going to expedite and I'm going to run out into the warehouse and I'm going to simulate my receiving process. I'll go ahead and log in and I'll do my PO receiving, purchase order 84, purchase order 64, and my item is STEM. I can scan that or I could type it in. And you'll notice that I'm going to receive those to my dock bin. I'll go ahead and receive all 12,000 to my dock bin. and those are received and I'll go ahead and print a label. So coming back to my Macola system, if I just refresh this grid, you'll see that the stem falls off this back order situation by a shortage and now I can continue to run my business as smoothly as I can. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and make some processing decisions. I'll go ahead and run my filter on orders that I need to manipulate today and print pick tickets and fill back orders. So sitting on this agility grid, I can make lots of decisions and I'm interacting directly with EM10 as I go. So I'm going to fill the back order. I just filled my back order there. I'll go ahead and print my pick ticket. Here's my document that I need to send to the warehouse, sales order 84. That order has now moved to a status 4 and it's a pick, an order that's authorized for picking. In this case I'll go back to the handheld and I will go ahead and do my shipping operation and I'm going to work on my sales order 84 
for my item stem and I need to go ahead and get those. I'm going to cross dock ship them right off the warehouse dock and I'm going to send all 1,000 with that order. So right there I have looked at my McCola system, I've taken action, created a PO, and filled my sales order pretty rapidly. At the next step I need to take a little bit more action and I can actually go through my billing process and here's the order that I worked on just now. I'll go ahead and bill this order and I'm going to go ahead and invoice it and send it with the order. So now I have printed my invoice and the order has been advanced to a status 9 and it shows exactly where that item came from on my invoice that I'm going to send to the customer. That's a quick run through of how we integrate with the Exact Macola 10 applications. This is available in build 562 of our software. So when you're ready to update to Macola 10, just know that Wysis will be there already. Thank you.